Okay, so here we are on the on-guard route. Um, let's see how many frames per second on this one. So 6 to 14, it's quite fast, this one. I guess there's a lot less textures. From what I've read on the internet, I'm, I'm no expert on this. The animated files seem to make a difference, plus the settings. Um, I don't know what you do to start this thing. I think I normally push the delete key, if I can find it. Uh, da, 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 da. You need one there. Delete key, page down. Then I normally push six, five, eight, uh, F, Z. Oh, I haven't checked the doors. Let's go outside. F two. Let me go outside. There we are. So yeah, look, the doors are open there. That's the right door. So that's F six, I think. There we are. So it's shutting quite quickly. Um, okay, then I can go to the cab F1. Yep, and then I can push the Z key. And look, something's happened. There we are. We're on the go. Now I'm very color blind, so I think that is a green signal. I really don't know. And then once you've got a little bit of speed, you push the Q button just to stop accelerating. Push it a few more times, you go to brake mode. There is somewhere you can actually see. Actually, it's, it's down here where the mouse is moving um, in this corner here uh, there's like um, I'm in neutral at a minute so if I push the Z I should go into P1 which I think is parallel one I, I'm not a train guy um, I just like playing with software um, so I've actually been to this place you can go to Epping and then you can take the old heritage buses to um, the uh, Northfield guys there and they've got quite a good setup there including the original metropolitan train I'm a buses guy, which is pretty sad to admit, but these are quite cool. So anyway, you can drive this, you can put Z and go a bit faster. Um, and if I use the mouse keys, you see it's moving pretty fast on a Raspberry Pi 4. I think on this route, there's not a lot of detail. Some of the modelers got really into detail, and that's fantastic if your processing power can handle it. Uh, a little Pi 4, okay, this has got the graphics acceleration. I don't know if that's making any difference. We're up to, what, 11 frames per second there oh it's a bridge i think the whistle works there we are so for some reason i still get problem i better slow it down i still get problems with alsa in there i haven't quite got it sorted out insane speeds um but you know what was it uh, 70 pounds for the 8 gig um this lovely case which was another 30 pounds I, I didn't know you can buy it from the pine moroni guys i would have bought it at a time the beautiful thing about this case is you get a little on-off switch, which is cool, and a fan, and it rarely gets hot. I haven't even overclocked this yet, so today I'll probably work on overclocking the Pi to see if I can get even faster. But, I mean, this is this is beating... This is keeping up with an i7 at this point for this particular game in this particular situation, and, and I can't ask for more than that. It saves me buying a expensive computer just for a bit of a whim to play in the background. So, yeah have fun uh, if people want to know how to set it up i will post how i did it but it was fairly straightforward i just followed the open bv laser three instructions um load on a what was it a mono 5.x um, on the raspbian downloaded a few packages and build it it was very quick it hardly uses more than about one gig to build um actually if we just go into a uh let me can make this a bit smaller we can just quickly see how much resources I'm using. Hang on. I just gotta make that smaller. So let's just put on a, a H top. Uh, what are we using here? This, currently it's using 567 meg. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna reboot in a minute. I've tried to give the graphics card a hundred, uh, one gigabyte because I've got it. I don't know if it works. People say that 128 is the max you can give it. So I'm gonna basically reboot. And see if I can get any more performance out of this thing. But I'm having fun at the moment. Cheers. Bye.